Hi, I'm Grant from Cape Snake Conservation and in this video I use a live puff adder to show you how to easily identify the snake by looking at three key body characteristics. The information that I'm about to share might be a little basic for some, but for others I hope that these tips will help to guide your eyes towards the standout physical features of a puff adder to allow for easy and confident identification. These features are by no means exhaustive, but provide what I believe to be a good starting point when learning how to identify a snake like this. So let me not keep you waiting any longer. Here is how to identify a puff adder. I'm up here on the top of Signal Hill. I'm just about to release a puff adder that I caught down in Sea Point, and I thought I would just show you guys before I release it exactly what makes a puff adder a puff adder. Holding a snake in a tube like this is one of the safest ways to capture a snake and to be able to examine it properly. The easiest things to look for if you want to identify the snake is the first thing you look for is the shape of the head. There's a big triangular kind of shape there and the head is very much distinct from from the neck you can see there's a you can see where the head starts and where the neck ends the other key factor for identifying um, a puff adder is to look at the body patterning the easiest part to look for are the the chevrons running down from the, the base of the neck down to about mid body it's kind of like arrows pointing back if you see that in the snake you immediately know it, it's a puff adder the other thing to look out for, um, which differs from snakes like cobras, is the actual shape of the scales. A puff adder has, has got rough scales. It doesn't have that shiny appearance that a cobra or a mole snake would have. It's actually got keeled, what we call keeled scales, which means that they've got a ridge just on top of each of the, of the scales, giving it, giving it a, a rough appearance. Underneath, the scales are quite different. They're smooth and elongated. Those are to help it for gripping along the ground uh, while it's moving. So that's it. That's the puff adder. So if you want to learn how to identify the snake, remember the, there's three main things. The shape of the head, the chevrons running down the length of the body, and uh, keeled scales. The rough ridges on the scales can also help quite a bit.